So in our last video, we checked out the Joe Rogan, Dwayne Johnson steroid claims that have gone viral these past few weeks. And since that video, some new information has come out that you guys need to check out. To start the video, we'll be checking out your guys' thoughts on the situation as to whether or not Dwayne The Rock Johnson uses steroids. The Rock is not blasting steroids anymore. He is on TRT, which I believe to be around 140 mg per week. Either way, being that big for his height, 30 BMI, is not good for longevity. Same thing for Chris Hemsworth. He can't stay that big and also live past 70. His kids and wife are not going to go to his funeral and say what a great bodybuilder he was. This was one of the big issues Joe Rogan and the guest on his podcast brought up in their video, that there is no chance of longevity with the substances The Rock most likely uses. If you want to enter to win an iPhone 14, a MacBook Pro, or $500 cash, all you have to do is comment the hidden message in this video. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a like as well and subscribe so we can continue to afford these prizes. Thank you for watching and good luck. The winner will be revealed on the final day of each month. The Rock is clearly using supraphysiologic doses of androgenic steroids. He also works out really hard. I get why Dwayne would not want to come out and admit to it. The studios would flip if he admitted to it. Yet, when someone accuses him, he should keep his mouth shut up about it instead of publicly calling someone out for accusing him. Let people talk and just remain silent. The last comment is something I also agree with, as there is obviously politics behind it all, as to why he won't just come out and admit he's on steroids. It would affect both the studio and The Rock's future films and public's perspective of them. For those that haven't seen the viral clip of Joe Rogan flaming The Rock for being on roids, here it is. That's all, yeah, that's how it, could you think otherwise? Eats a lot of sushi. Yeah. <laughs> but <clears throat> point is, it's like you can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. No. Like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, is this pro longevity? Like, of course not. And it's no, he's so massive and he's so different than he was when he was 30. Joe briefly mentioned about the Liver King situation, which in itself is entirely different because he ran with the narrative that he was entirely clean. Whereas the only time The Rock mentioned taking steroids was when he was 18, 19 with a friend, where on a fumble interview he stated, Me and my buddies tried it back in the day when I was 18 or 19, didn't know what we were doing. He also mentioned the hate he gets all over social media. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in. And he's not wrong. You see it all the time with celebrities, especially the top of the top, but it's just part of the game. The Rock also followed up with, training is my anchor, being on a regimented schedule, setting a go, failing at a go. It's the philosophies of being an athlete that carry me today. Has your guys' opinions changed about The Rock being on steroids since the past video, or are you still certain the man's a juiced up turkey? comment below. Former WWE star Kevin Nash recently came out and defended The Rock by saying, somebody like Dwayne, number one, he's very disciplined, but he's also very wealthy. So I don't think that Dwayne is getting up in the morning as he gets the crust out of his eyes at 4 a.m. is deciding if he's gonna scramble egg whites. I mean, he gets up, takes an ice cold shower, probably does 20 minutes of cardio with nothing in his stomach except coffee and then has his pre-workout and goes in there and trains a body part. I watch him. He doesn't train super, super heavy, but strict supersets with constant tension on the muscles. He knows what he's doing. He's in his own zone, gets out there, and the rest of the day, he's eating optimally. He's not missing meals. He's not missing macros. To look the way he does all the time, instead of fucking bashing somebody, just tip your hat to their discipline. It's been interesting to see everyone's response to Joe Rogan's clip because just talking about the rumor of The Rock being on steroids keeps him so relevant and inevitably will if he never speaks on it. Dwayne Johnson has always been physically fit, but it wasn't until 2013's Pain and Gain, which was shot when Johnson was in his early 40s and played an extremely fit bodybuilder, that he first appeared to be as physically massive as he is today. Johnson's physicality has been at the forefront of three different careers, football, WWE, and movies. Now that he's 50, it's obvious how he keeps it up. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoveTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.